This evening I had to think to see exactly where we were going to go with this. However, I've kept it very, very simple. None of this trying to think of a word begin with a letter or anything like that. All I want you to do tonight is talk about a day in my life. Don't worry, it's not my life. It's your life. The day I became queen... <laughs> um, most of you will probably, to be quite honest, remember it because obviously it was televised. Um, I believe it was actually one of those uh, moments when it was actually on all four channels, um, because obviously it's very, very important. Um, obviously it happened just after I married my husband, uh, Prince William, now obviously King William. <laughs> Um, a dream I've had since I was, well, pretty much since I was about two, and my mum told me it was always best to marry a rich man. And the best one to go after at the time was someone the same age to me, Prince William. So I did. I followed him to university in St Andrews, um, met him in a bar, and uh, we went on from there. Hello paid for the exclusive rights of the, the pictures, and I think we actually set the record on that as well. Um, I think it was two and a half million away from that. Obviously, we donated the whole lot to charity. Um, but it was quite an important day for me because obviously, uh, after I married um, my, my king and became queen, um, I obviously had a, a job to, to do. And my job is mainly keeping Buckingham Palace clean. Uh, a passion of mine is, is cleaning. And that's what I spend my days doing. Um, some say I've got OCD, um, but the thing is, once you finish one end, you have to start again at the other end, it's that big, and you have to work your way all the way back through again. So that is the day, a day in my typical life, is cleaning. Some think it's just something that you do when you haven't got money. For me, I just do it every day and start again at the beginning and go all the way back around again. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'd like to talk about a day in my life which is very dear to me because it's a day when I announced to the world that I was a queen. Oh no, we've done that one already, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had an announcement to make to the world which was that I was going to get married to my, my own queen, as I like to call her. She gets called a few other things, admittedly. But Queen is something which perhaps we'll stay with for tonight. And it was a very important day because I was so excited. I was so excited about my future and spending my future with the one who I loved. It would have been nice if she'd loved me as well, admittedly. But you can't have it always, can you? And so it was a day that we really looked forward to. And one of the things that we were absolutely adamant about was we needed to sing our song to the masses. We need to tell the world out there about our fantastic future together and our fantastic opportunity. So we got an advertising agency involved. Now they're a bit of a fearsome bunch, I have to say, my advertising agency, but they pack a punch. And so we got them involved and we did a fantastic press release. And it was the best press release ever because the best advertising agency, I recommend you use them all, are the PR Ogres. <laughs> just jetted it on your private jet. Oh, it's fabulous, you know. All the great leather seats and buckets of champagne. Oh, hey. And, and oh, I get all the best clothes. I get Versace and I get. Oh, Donatella. Well, he was good in you. Know. Wait, how can I afford all this? Why, it's because of me. Best day of my life. I was sitting on the sofa as you do, in between, you know, whatever rubbish is on before seven o'clock, and casually, <laughs> and I was sitting there, me, took a hog and dash, eating away, and then the lottery come on. So I put my ice cream down, and I'm sitting on the edge of the seat like this, and the numbers start coming out. One, thirty-five. I'm getting excited now, I could go to town here. Morty. Oh, hey, hey, this is getting really old. Look at this, I'm getting so excited. Fifty. <laughs> oh, four numbers. Oh, I've got a kind fortune here, yeah, like. Four numbers. Eleven. Oh, no. Your fifth number. 
really getting nervous now. My buttocks are clenched. <laughs> you know, you can't even get a pencil up there, never mind anything else. So I'm sitting like this now. I'm literally glued, fixed to this chair. Number six. What? My God, it's number five. What? I thought, I thought, I can't, I can't. Looks at me, partner. Check these numbers, check these numbers. Check them. Pet. Move one. Move one. Why, I fainted. I don't remember now what else for about an hour. And me, me husband's going, oh, wait, pet, man, wake up, wake up. We've got to go and get my ticket certified. We've won. I faint again. It took us two weeks to realise that we'd actually won the lottery. And you know what? I'm on way back to me villa in Spain. Turn up. <laughs> Best table topic. There was ten very good ones, ten slips of paper. The finger puppets could have won it. <laughs> no chance, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like winning the lottery. Three times in a row. Well Woo! done. And that's really all I have to say. Thank you very much for allowing me to be the Toastmaster. I've had a really great time. I shall now hand you over to our president. Um, we don't have to you know, salute or anything, but I shall hand you over to Steve for some closing remarks. Thank you very much. Meeting number 11, the significant landmark. Tom touched on at the beginning about the, the foundations. And it, for me, it goes back even further because it, when I talked to Anthony at the PSA, it's probably nearly a year ago now, I think, when we started to think about having a, a Toastmasters club further north. There was the ones that Anthony's talked about, the established ones, York, Arrogate and Leeds, and then there's, the, there's three or four springing up now. And between there and Edinburgh, there's none. And, there was a, and you look at the map, there was a void. And we started to plant, put something together. Around about January time, we had an abortive attempt in Teesside. And I said, let me give it a try in Newcastle. And I found two of me, three musketeers, in Tom and Peter. But I'm not going to forget another one, D'Artagnan sitting in the corner at the back. <laughs> <laughs> and he was the, so I had four of us who set it going. March the 23rd was the first meeting, and we're up to number 11 tonight. And we started the meeting with four guests, and which is one of the most t not guests to have had. But they've all joined tonight. And that means a very significant landmark is we've hit the magic number of 20. So when Anthony oh, said, yeah. so Anthony set the scene that we're nearly chartered, we've just got to do the paperwork. So thank you all for, for doing that. And uh, I think it's a great achievement in, in 11 meetings. And our first at our new venue, it's, it's a good day to celebrate. And I'm sure Peter would buy the drinks when we go to the bar. Without <laughs> <laughs>